Hello, people from the great southern land. What is it today? Tuesday, Wednesday? One of those days. I don't know, it's daylight outside. That's about all I know. Um, just wanted to, to speak to some things that I've been sort of, uh, have been coming to me and I've been witnessing and whatever over the last um, couple of days. And I uh, just wanted to share and um, just remind people to keep the faith, um, keep your trust. Um, you know, when you're doubting, um, you know, take some time alone and just, just, just ask for help from above. Yeah, ask for help. Don't be afraid to ask for help from, uh, from your, your guides, your, your angels, your, your God, your divine creator, your Allah, your, um, your Buddha, uh, your Yahweh, whatever it is, uh, in these times, don't be afraid to ask for assistance. Um, and in doing that, Ask for the assist, assistance in order to bring yourself back to yourself. Bring your holy self, yeah? Bring your, your, your pure spirit back into your body um, and, and operate from that place from here on in because, um, you know, th there is a big attack on people's faith at the moment and a lot of people are getting a little bit, um, you know, unsettled with what's happening around uh, this country and around the world. And um, always keep your faith, you know, whether it be in Jesus Christ or, or, or Buddha or whoever it is, keep your faith um, and your connection to, to the divine uh, because that is where your power is. You don't have to take the burdens. You don't have to do everything by yourself. Ask for help. Surrender your problems, yeah, to your spirit gods, to your angels, whoever it may be. And... Um, you know, if you don't believe in that stuff, well, that's fine. You don't have to ask for any help and you can deal with it all by yourself and you can harbor all that energy by yourself and deal with it by yourself. No one's saying you have to do anything. Um, but if you are of the belief of a, a divine creator or, a, you know, whatever it may be, ask for assistance through this time. Um, if you haven't watched the Pope speech that I posted uh, last night and again today I reshared it, I, I highly recommend you get on and watch that speech uh, that the Pope John Paul, I think it was, did. I'm not sure how many years ago. Um, you know, and he was the successor for Pope John Paul I, um, who was killed after or died after 33 days in um, in in the Vatican. And then uh, and then this Pope John Paul II came and he put this speech up, which is a speech I've shared. And I highly recommend that people watch it. It's very short and very powerful. And, um, you know, that is the power of, uh, of, of religion and God. And, you know, I know at this point in time, a lot of people are pointing the finger at religion and, and the Catholic Church and the Freemasons and all this. And they're just pointing their finger every single which way they can, right? And they're not looking inside for answers. They're just pointing the finger of blame at every single organization, every institution they can possibly think of, you know? Um, they're tarring every single person in these organizations with the same brush as every other one. And I don't think that's the right way to do it. That's basically the mentality of the farmer with the pitchforks. Yeah. Um, there's a, there's a mob walking down and running down the road with pitchforks and, and someone yells out, get him. So you jump on the back, back end of it and you, and you start shouting, Oh, get him there. Yeah, you know, even though you don't know the facts. So it's time that people stop blaming everybody inside these organisations. No one's saying that everyone in there has done all these horrible things that are being put out there and portrayed. And start looking inside, yeah? Stop being the farmer with a pitchfork. Stop bloody... Um, stop abusing everyone and all these people. You know, whatever it is, whatever, whatever your religion is, whatever you believe or don't believe, just stop abusing other people that you've got no idea about, Yeah. Stop pointing the finger of blame at people that haven't even been accused of things, yeah? Stop thinking just because someone has been accused of something that they've actually done it because you don't know, yeah? That's what a court's there for, right? So we're getting into this mob mentality because everyone's getting sucked into this um, CV syndrome, yeah, of um, looking for something external to blame for the situation they're in. Well, the situation we're in now is because people are just being asleep walking through their whole life, yeah? And that's the majority of us have been there and done that. And, um, you know, there's no one else to blame but ourselves, yeah? And we're in the situation because we ignore the planet, we ignore what's important, we ignore life, and we believe in money. And I think this is one of the biggest reasons why we are 
led by this darkness, yeah, the dark side, to believe um, in in money and things and materialism, um, you know, and they are trying to segregate your connection to spirit, yeah, and for a lot of people, for millions of people, that connection comes through the form of uh, their pope or their religious leaders or whatever it is, and at this time, they're attacking the religion, yeah, all religions, you can't congregate apparently, yeah, this is why they're attacking religion because they want your belief crushed. They don't want you to believe in anything outside of them, yeah, outside of the material world. They want you to believe they are the gods, yeah, because they hold the power in the material world. They are not the gods, yeah. They are not the um, supreme beings, yeah. They're merely minions, yeah, for their dark leader, you know, and whoever that might be. And in my experience and from what I know, the one that they worship, whatever they call Lucifer, Lucifer, does not give them permission to do what they're doing at this time. What they're doing at this time, yeah, is by their own free will. They have no backing from either side spiritually. They've got no backing. What they're doing is their own free will. Yeah, that's what they're exercising. And they're trying to blame whatever entities and whatever. No, no, no. Everything that everyone's doing at this point in time is their own free will. And that's that. Yep. So... We've got to stop blaming these religions. We've got to stop blaming the Catholic Church. We've got to stop blaming the Pope. We've got to stop blaming all this stuff. We've got to stop blaming all the Freemasons. We've got to stop blaming, um, you know, everyone else. Why are we blaming all these people, yeah? Instead of looking internal, yeah? We're all just people, yeah? And we can't blame people and accuse them of things that we don't even know if they've done or not. Because we're no better than anyone. We're, we're probably worse, yeah? We're worse than the people that we talk about because you're doing the same thing. But worse because you're knocking other people for doing it, yeah? So we've got to stop this. And people need to restore their their, their religious beliefs and their, and their spiritual beliefs. And they, at this time, more than ever, they need to restore their connection with their divine self, yeah? Because we all have one, Yeah. And that's the way it is. If you don't believe in that, that's fine. You can deal with all your stuff by yourself. You don't need to ask for assistance from your angels or your guides or whatever it is. And some people will laugh and whatever. And good on you. Yeah. Full respect to you. You can do what you want and, and carry all the burdens by yourself. But you don't have to. You can ask for help from above. Yeah. And, and release your burdens. Ask for guidance. You don't have to do it all by yourself. You're never alone. Yeah. We live in the spiritual world. We live in the etherical realm, yeah? We're just the material manifestation inside an etherical realm. We're not separate from it. We are not separate from spirit, yeah? Whether we know it or not is a different thing, or whether we perceive it or not is a different thing, but none of us are separate from it, and we're all subject to it, and we're all within it. We all live in this etherical realm, yeah? So that's where we're at at the moment. Um, some things I wanted to sort of talk about. What's Brett say? People have been taught money and materialism is success. True success is within yourself. And you're absolutely right, Brett. And that's how people have been conditioned and led to believe, yeah? That we're conditioned through school, yeah? Don't ask questions. Just follow the bouncing ball, regurgitate, regurgitate what you're told and listen to somebody else. Give your power to somebody else and listen to what they say, yeah? And people have been, um, you know, so bamboozled with this system that people have forgotten that they actually have uh, an opinion and a voice and a logical brain that can make sense and decide what things are and what they're not and that they can make decisions for themselves, yeah? That they can actually take their power back and they don't have to give it away to anybody because who knows who knows you better than you? Nobody, yeah? And for those people who think other people know them better than themselves, well, you know, um, they will give their power away to those people and that's their right to do that as well. Uh, no harms with that, no qualms, whatever. That's the way it is. Um, you know, but we've really got to be mindful of the information we're sharing and what we're supporting and that we're not bringing down belief structures that give people hope and power, you know, um, you know, whatever religion or spiritual belief it is, we can't be agreeing and, and, and helping these materialists bring down the structure of belief in spirit because that is, it is a spiritual battle. And that's all it is, yeah? So that's where we're at. It was interesting. I was listening to the radio today. Um, as I just got, I was coming back from the post office, I had to send off some pretty important letters for myself. 
um, which came up to, and I bought some things at the post office and it came up to $88.44, which is a really good omen to me. You know, that was like, yep, boom, you're on the right path. There's your numbers, you're in synchronicity. And um, I got some messages from people there. And I was listening to the radio on the way back and they're talking about the lockdowns and the postcodes. And the first postcode that came up was 3012, yep, which is 33, 33 or 6. Um, and then the second one was 3021, which is again 33. Yeah, so you got two 33s. And then it was uh, 3032, three um, you know, which is 332, the skull and bone. So you've got all these numbers, 33, 33, 332, that are significant numbers. This is, I've been talking about numerology uh, basically since I've started doing videos. And these are not coincidences, yeah, these things that are happening. So just be aware. And if you're in those suburbs or you think that you're in those suburbs or it's coming and you just don't want to be there, then, then get out, you know, take this time and get out, you know. We know it's not about whatever they're saying because you see people walking around that are doing the surveys and the testing and they're walking around without masks and without gloves and without any protective equipment. So they're, they're, they're potentially, if there is something to spread, they're potentially spreading whatever it might be. Um, you know, so just think about that. Um, common sense is obviously not that common, but whatever. Maybe they're going to use that as an excuse, yeah, to go, oh, well, we didn't think about that. And, um, you know, and now all these people have got it because whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah, because all these people were walking around in this pandemic without protective gear. You would think that would be the first and foremost, yeah, thing on the list is to make sure everyone walking around is wearing PPE, protective personal gear, yeah, so they're not spreading or receiving anything if there's something to spread and receive, yeah, it's just common sense, yeah, a six-year-old can tell you that, you know, you don't need to be a doctor or a scientist or whatever, um, you know, so, yeah, it's really, really interesting listening to the people on the radio, the politicians that are talking about it and whatever, and they're really begging people, yeah, to... To, they're begging people to take the test, basically. They're like, please, please answer your door. Please take the test. Please do this. And you know what? People who want to do it, do it. That's good. You know, that's that's their right. And whatever it leads to is what it leads to. Um, I don't know. But um, I certainly wouldn't want to be, you know, one of those people. But um, it is what it is. And that's sort of where we're at. But yeah, interesting times. Um, you know, I heard a woman, she was we're having a conversation in the post office and she's like, oh, you know, I just don't think the government's that smart and I don't think that da-da-da-da-da and, and the politicians are that smart to, you know, and, and they're just so dumb and she laughed it off. And I'm like, you've got no idea how smart and how, you know, I didn't know, I, I sort of tried to say this to her, but because some people, they just don't listen, they're just, they're just projecting all this vomit yeah this verbal diarrhea so i'll just let it kept projecting but what i'm thinking is and i tried to explain it you have no idea how smart they are and how controlled and how um, scripted this actually is yeah nothing is by accident nothing is by chance all this is planned and scripted we've gone through this a million times and i keep saying it because that's what it is yeah your politicians are not stupid yeah they don't get to where they are because they're stupid yeah don't think for a minute they make a, a, an exuberant amount of mistakes or what people perceive to be mistakes, but they're not mistakes, yeah? Everything they're doing is for a reason, yeah? It's because they're liquidating this country, yeah? And its assets and the people who were its assets who are now got no use in this place. So that's where we're at. And, um, you know, those people who just refuse to listen and accept that, well, they, they think they're smarter than... These people have been controlling them for hundreds of years. They think they're smarter. They're like, oh, well, they must. It's just pure ignorance. And it's those people who are going to take it and do it and whatever. And then you see them on the media putting out this, um, you know, shaming people who are choosing not to say it. Well, like, oh, it's really disappointing. We've got all 928 people who refused to take it or didn't answer or whatever. And it's a, it's a shame and it's, you know, you're endangering whatever, you know. Right. Stop, yeah, enough, enough of that, yeah? Let people have their free will and we'll let you have your free will. But if you don't, well, everyone's going to lose it, right? That's how it is. That's the way the world works. That's natural law.
So, here we are. Brett Rowe, people need to stop believing in the media and celebrities and research for themselves. The narrative is not for your expansion, but your submission. Exactly right, Brett, mate, that's 100%. Couldn't have said it better myself, and thank you. G'day, Ken. Hey, Richard. Richard says the problem is those going along with it. And that's right, you know, like someone on my feed, um, you know, put a post up about this this CV being, oh, it's so bad and it's spreading and that. And I just said, look, I put a comment on it. I just said, have you got proof of that? And then they, they deflected to someone else's comment and said, oh, oh, he doesn't believe in, in whatever or whatever. He doesn't believe in it. And I said, no, I'm, you made a statement. I'm just asking you if you have any proof to back up that statement. It's as simple as that, yeah? You've made a statement, yeah? Have you got any proof, yeah, to back it up? No, other than what other people have parroted and said. Other than what other people have said and you've seen on the media, do you have any proof for anything you're being told? Any, at all, other than what other people have said? Is there any proof? Because I'd like to see it. Not what someone's grandma who was in the hospital said, not what my sister's auntie's dog's cat said, and not my friend's mum died, and not this. Have you got proof? Show me the proof, yeah? If not, well, you're just parroting what everyone else is parroting, the same narrative. You're just another parrot, right? Unless you've looked it up and researched it yourself, stop parroting because you're just you're harming other people. You think you're helping people, you're harming other people. Yeah. But anyway, I'm just uh, making some bread here. I thought I would um, share my bread making skills with everyone. What's Rolf say? Why take the test if you are at home? I know it's more dangerous, right? If you're at home and you've got your door shut and everything, it's more dangerous for you to open that door and potentially receive if there's something to receive, to potentially to receive that. It's more dangerous for you to open that door, yeah, than it is for you not to. If this thing's real and whatever, if, if it is or not, yeah, and you're in your home and you're self-quarantined or whatever, you, you, you shut the rest of the world out because this thing might, you know, spread. And then you've got people coming to your door who are potential carriers. So you're more safe, yeah, to not open your door to these potential carriers that are walking around without any protective gear, without nothing, that are potentially spreading this thing. You are more safe not opening your door. Yep, and I'd like to see someone argue that point. Yeah. Oh, no, you've got to get the test. You've got to get the test. Why do I have to get the test? If I get sick yeah, and die in my house, well, no worries. No one else has to worry about it, right? If I don't, yeah, if I'm not sick, yeah, but someone comes around with a test and then I get sick. Well, who started it? How did I get sick? Yeah, think about it. It's not the people refusing to taste it, take the test that are the problem, it's the people walking around. If this thing's real, it's the people walking around, the potential carriers, the potential spreaders. Yeah, they're the, they're the ones creating the risk, they're creating the risk. They're creating a risk where, where, where there is no risk, yeah? Simple. If there's something, if there is something, you lock it down, yeah? Everyone stays in their house, yeah? And that's it. You don't have people going around spreading the crap. Let's, let's think logically. Let's think with a rational mind, yeah? Forget about all the stuff that's being said and parroted and regurgitated and vomited out of people's mouths in the media. You know? What's Ralph saying? Why take the test if you're at home? Do they ask people if they are leaving their homes? Or they're staying at home and isolating? Oh, man. Yeah, everyone's got their opinions on this thing. Oh, I've got my own opinion. I'm not going to share it. I think you all know where I stand on it, and I've been pretty vocal about it. Um, but, yeah, you know, what's actually happening, whether there is or there isn't, the actions that are being taken by the government, 
are actually causing a higher potential of spread, yeah, of risk, as opposed to just saying, right, everyone, stay at home, no more bills, yeah, you don't have to worry about going to work and spreading this potential virus, you don't have to worry about that because we're going to put a hold on everything, yeah, everything just goes on hold, there's no bills, there's no this, there's no that, yeah, all of it just gets put on hold, that way no one falls behind in their payments, yeah, the whole country, yeah, stay at home, all bills stop, yeah, all bank payments stop, all fines stop, all that crap stops, yeah, and what that does is it negates the need for people to have to go to work and risk, yeah, getting this virus or whatever it might be, yeah, that would just be the logical, easy thing to do, yeah, real simple, stop all payments, yeah, I mean, debt collecting, stop all debt collecting, yeah, and you can work out a payment plan, yeah, if it's mortgage payments, you just put the mortgage payments on the end of the mortgage, the back end of the mortgage, you just extend that mortgage by a year, right, there you go, no one has to lose, the banks don't have to lose, the people don't have to lose, yeah, you just stop the payments now, rent, the same thing, yeah, you add an extra 10 bucks on a week or whatever, for the, for which they've been doing anyway, yeah, and the prices of rent could probably come down because they're exuberant, so, you know, but stop all that stuff. You stop the mortgage payments and the, the people who are renting the houses out don't need that rent, yeah? You just wipe it all together. Okay, because they're not making the mortgage repayments, they don't need that rent, right? And if they're renting, well, they don't need the rent either because they're not, they don't have to pay rent. So everyone wins. The banks don't need the money. Obviously, there's this pandemic and they want everyone to get better, yeah? So stop all bank repayments, all of them. Yep. Yeah. Keep people's money coming in so they can get food, yeah? And buy the things they need. Stop all the service bills. Stop it all, yeah? Add 10 bucks a week onto whatever if this is an issue. Otherwise, you just wipe it, right? And then no one's under pressure to leave their house, right? And you can nip this thing in the butt in a couple of weeks, yeah? Finished, gone. You don't have people walking around spreading it and testing for this and that and whatever, unnecessary just stop all repayments of everything yeah for a month then right and everyone can stay at home for a month right no worries no stress no suicide no whatever but does that make too much sense Richard says the more people they test, uh, the more positive the results they're going to get. And and given that, um, you know, even um, even the tests that are testing positive, they're not sure where it's coming from. It could be from anything. Yeah, it could be from a common cold. It could be just a, a, a temperature, right? Just because you've got a fever doesn't mean you've got a bloody, whatever they're saying it could be. People get fevers every year especially in the cold and flu season yeah majority of people get it and it passes yeah so so let me get this this straight they're testing people for their temperature right and whatever else for this this cold like stuff that's probably going to be in everyone because it's the cold and flu season yeah they're testing everyone for this and then they're calling it whatever they're calling it yeah and they're and they're and they're, they're they're saying people of temperatures have got this thing. Has the world gone mad? Have we forgotten about the entire history of, of you know that we know of where people have got colds and flus and whatever else, you know, every year like clockwork? Yeah, did we forget about that? And now everything is this whatever they're saying it is. Come on. Anyway. RD, I'm in Vic. They called my home phone to get tested in the area. Yeah, well, I hope you, um, well, you know, did whatever you felt was right to do. You know, I know what I'd do. Ralph says it was a lie. So was the Easter Bunny in Santa Claus. Society lied to you about them. It's funny you mention that lie because what that actually does, right, when we... 
tell our children about the Easter Bunny and Santa Claus and whatever else. It's not just, oh, yeah, it's this nice thing, right? We could just tell them straight up. It's like, oh, this is a time for family to come together because we love each other and we want to spend time and we want to share with each other, right? Instead, they make up a lie, right? And then it's this massive lie that the entire society will work together to keep perpetuated for these young people, right? Young humans. And then we get in our mind, oh, it's okay to lie. You know, because everyone's doing it. It's okay to lie about some things. No. That's how you get problems, right? It is what it is. But interesting. Brett says, if you wish to control a population, fear is a tool. And a pandemic is the new weapon. Well, that's right. It's it's uh, World War Three. We're, we're in. They said on the radio, they said on the radio with their own voice, whoever it was, this politician talking, we literally have an army on the ground. We literally have an army on the ground. Yeah? We've been telling you for years that they're waging war on you, yeah, legally, lawfully, or, or what they would call lawfully, yeah, um, they're waging a war on you because they're not your government, yeah? They're a foreign entity, a foreign private company, waging war on the Australian Commonwealth, the people, yeah? They don't care about you. They don't, give a f they don't care, mate. They want you gone because they want what we've got, yeah? They want what we have. Can you understand that? This is not a joke. This is not a theory. This is legal, lawful fact. I've been studying this stuff for a couple, of, a few years now. I know what I'm talking about because I go straight to it. You know, I don't know it all. I'm not the expert. But what I'm talking about, I know. Yeah, because I read a lot. Anyway. Shandy says that they can't do that because it makes too much sense. You know, that's right. They want people to think that they're confused and they're stupid and they don't know what's going on and they're just making all these mistakes. There's no mistakes. It's all scripted. All of it. There is no mistakes. They're not stupid. They're extremely smart. This system is so clever. It's unbelievable. It blows my mind and I've got so much respect for this system, the way it's set up. It's genius. It's incredible. And it's not even hidden. It's all in plain sight and no one sees it. Well, you know, there's a few people who see it. But it's that brilliant. They don't even hide it. It's right there in front of all of us. They tell us. Literally, they tell us to our faces. And we refuse. We have this thing called cognitive dissonance where we just refuse to believe something that challenges our current belief system, the way we're thinking. If something challenges that belief system, we just throw that away. We can't deal with that. We don't want to know about that because that changes our belief system. And if our belief system changes, that means we've got to do some inner work and some outer work, yeah, to figure out what's going on. And most people do not want to do that. They would rather go to the grave than make the effort to do that. And that's their right and that's their choice. And no problems with that. Fair enough, yeah. Andre, or, sorry, Ardi, sorry. They texted to all of our phones to get tested. What are you, um, you know, like, they're begging people, yeah? They really, like, it's like, boom, boom, bombard, 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 media, 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 text, phone, door knocking, this, that. Whilst they're giving you extra money, oh, we're giving you extra money, we're giving you this, we're giving you that, just do what we want, yeah? This is not about AI. This is not about getting people AI inside them so they can control them like robots. No, no, they've already been doing it. They don't need AI to control people like robots. People already are robots because they don't have their mind. It's got nothing to do with that. Yeah? It's reduction. Yeah? It's eugenics. It's population control. It's reduction. Again, I don't have issues with it. I don't agree with it. The intervention by man of man, I think it's wrong, but it is what it is. You know, and, you know, some people, let's be honest, they're unsafe in this society. They probably, you know, allow themselves to do what they're doing. You know, that's why 
I don't mind if people watch my page or not. Whoever's supposed to get the message will get the message, yeah? And whoever's not supposed to get it won't get it. It's that simple. Yeah? So, that's where we're at. I suppose it's time to start making some bread. What does that say? Sybil. Sybil. Smart like the virus. It only targets small business and family members, not social distancing. Protesters are spared. Um, oh, hang on. It also targets if protesting about lockdown. Yeah. Um, yeah, everyone's spared except for the, the small businesses, like you just said. You know, the, the families, they can't get together, but you can get together in a, uh, in a stadium. Or if you're a, a public officer, right, you're immune. You don't, you don't have to worry about the virus. If you're going around testing, you're immune. You don't have to worry about it. Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty smart virus, isn't it? Let's think about that. It's so it's 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 a little bit um, it's so blatantly obvious that it's almost comical, you know, to watch, to sit back, and sometimes I have to laugh uh, because it's just so in your face, yeah. And people have been getting the information all along, and they just refuse to believe. And it's like, well, mate, let natural law take its course with you that is what you are that's what you want that's what you're asking for that's what you're begging for yeah so let that happen it's not my position to change that it's my position to give you the word to give you the um the information but what you do with it well that's your free will and if you think that not taking action or not doing anything or not looking into it is the best course of action at this point in time well it's not going to be a great loss to the human society yeah when your dna ends in the very near future right and that's that's the whole po point of eugenics yeah is to, to get a super race to get rid of all the crap in theory and to look after the planet, yeah, to keep the planet in um, a state of balance, which we need to do anyway. So I really don't disagree with a lot of the things that they're doing and what they're saying. I really honestly don't disagree with a lot of it. Um, but unfortunately, I've just got to give you this information. That's just my job. Um, because those who believe in the word, yeah, those who look to their... Their holy saviors, those who look to their spirit guides, those who, who, who look to their divine for guidance and listen and heed the words, will be the ones who survive. Yeah. Because they listened and they took the information, they looked at it and they said, yep, that makes sense. I'm going to take action to make sure that me and my family and yeah, DNA are, um, you know, sustained. And that's what it's about. It is, it is literally natural selection. It's the survival of the fittest, yeah? That's what it is. That's what's taking place in front of our eyes. And it's those who are absolutely closed and, and completely shut down in the mind, in the brain, through whatever it is, you know, through the fluoride or um, through the whatever they're being fed and given and, 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 and choosing to continue down that path after they've been given the information that it's not good for you, and they still choose to go down that path. Well, that is natural selection, right? So that's what it is. But keep your faith, yeah? Stop um, berating each other. Just stop, like, people are talking about crowns and who's this and who's that. Mate, I've I got to tell you, there's not going to be many people left to even to worry about. Half of you people who are arguing about this stuff, you're not even going to be here to, to, to witness it. So don't worry about arguing about that. Worry about your family and, and making sure that you've got everything you need, right? And you're not doing things that are going to harm yourselves and your family. And I'm not telling you what to do, but I highly recommend that people start educating themselves on the things that are being shared, yeah? Especially the things that are being suppressed. And, um, and, and, and fiercely, fiercely and vigorously opposed by the mainstream. I'd seriously consider looking into those things. Because if they're being fiercely 
and rigorously opposed for a reason. I was watching something on ScoMo the other day and he was talking about, someone was talking about pulling out of the UN and uh, I think it was ScoMo saying, you know, talking about the UN and talking about these people on their moral high horse, I think were the words he used, uh, their moral high horse trying to tell Australia what to do because Australia's a company. He knows that. He knows what's going on. Yeah. He's not stupid. You think he is. He's not. Yeah. The people on the moral high horse are the people talking the truth. That's us. Yeah. He's, he's, he's gone on TV and said that people shouldn't be talking morally. So if that's what he's saying, what, what's he talking about? What is he, what line is he leading you down? If he's not morally, if he's morally bankrupt and he's actually um, deploring people who are speaking morally, where's he taking you people? That's what I'd be asking myself. If he's condemning people speaking morally, right? Well, what path is he leading you down? We know he was a banker. Is that right? I think he was a banker. Yeah, he's got all these banker mates. It's all about money, right? Mon, mon, one eye. Money, mon, E-Y. One eye, yeah? Control. Religion. That's what it is. You know, I'm going to add some water to my flour here while I'm making my uh, my bread. See if that's enough there. No fresh produce at Coles, Ringwood. Things are getting serious. Yeah, you really want to start thinking about where you want to be. You know? And I just spoke to my mum. I said, Mum, I think it's almost time you, you start coming back to the farm for a bit. You know, come and spend some time back at home. Um... Because it's not getting any less serious. It's only going to get worse. I'm just getting some more water. Like that's that's not a joke, eh? Hey? Like when you got when you run out of fresh produce and all that, and you run out of food, things are going to get crazy. People. Are, when people get hungry and they start getting starving, people will do anything to protect their children. You would do anything to protect your children. Well, so is everybody else. So it's time to start thinking about where you want to be really, really soon. Yeah. So, you know, Dusty's having a furball choke over there. So I'm just, just bloody mixing up my, my uh, flour here. I've got some nice, nice big bag of flour, yeah. Always good to have some flour. Real easy, you just add water and throw it in the oven, a bit of yeast or whatever. And you got bread, you got food. I've been living on this stuff, bread and eggs for days. Yep, and still some leftover veggies in the garden, thanks to mum, you know. So, yeah, I think that's kind of, people can see what's going on and, and, and whatever. And that's where we're at. Did you watch the, um, the video I put up earlier about the microwaving al aluminum? Yeah, what happens when you microwave aluminum? Microwaves, just short waves here, microwave length, microwave length. A bit like the things they're installing, short wavelengths, yeah, short wavelengths, micro waves, um, and what happens when you have aluminum uh, and probably mercury? I'm going to guess, um, you know, what happens when you put that in the microwave? Yeah, we all did it as a kid. We all put chip packets and aluminum stuff in the microwave. Yeah, you see what happens to it. Maybe that's the um, Maybe that's got something to do with the radiation burns. 
It might look like viruses, it might look like sunburn or whatever. Yeah, it might look like lesions on the skin. Yeah, maybe it's because there's some form of short wave or micro wave coming through whatever it is that, you know, you've got around your house, your meters and your bloody Wi-Fi's and whatever. And the aluminum and the mercury that is added into the vaccines and the spray in the sky and, and put in the food and whatever, the GM food, um, probably the water and whatever else, the medication, yeah? What happens when you microwave, whether it's micro, whether it's micro particles or big particles, it's going to have the same effect, right? That's, a, um, that's one to think about. Makes you wonder if it's worth having your um, having your thing on all day and all night, isn't it? Or just turning it on at certain times of day for a short period of time. Yeah, you can always minimise the harm or whatever if it's going to cause harm until they've done the research to say that it's safe. Yeah, because at the moment they haven't. They haven't done any research to say that it's safe. So until they've done the research to say it's safe, you might want to minimise and mitigate the risk factors by turning that stuff off majority of the time, yeah? You know what I like to do? I like to download things, right? I just download them, and then I watch them later. I turn off the internet, I unplug the uh, thing, and I just watch them. Everything's on flight mode, yeah? So I spend a bit of time downloading these things, and then turn it all off, right? Unplug it, and then you can watch everything. And then you can go and download for another hour. That way you're only exposed to an hour as opposed to 10 hours, you know, big, big difference. But um, I was talking to someone the other day and she was saying that she doesn't even recognise anymore the, the sounds, the ringing in the ears like that I recognise. When I turn on my, my hotspot on my phone, there is a distinct, audible, noticeable ringing in the ears that comes on and, and I can feel it in the back of my head. Um and in my ears and my gut, definitely my gut. My gut starts playing up, yeah? It's ears, back of the head and gut, yeah? Um, big, big notice notice points. So, and I'm noticing a lot of people complaining about ear problems at the moment and, and, and gut problems and, you know, it's probably not a coincidence. I mean, it could be, you know, but it is what it is. So... Stirring my, my my flour here. Brett can't wait for January. He's going walk about for six months. Back to nature, back to the land. You know that's it. That's uh, a good place to be. You know nature, land. Go and walk about. Um, you know, not a bad idea, mate. Not a bad time to start as well. So that's where we're at. Hey Despiana. Brett's been building veggie gardens, bought a few sheep, back to basics, yeah, that's it, beautiful. Um, I inquired about uh, a honey, a beehive the other day, so I'm waiting to hear back about that. Uh, a beehive, plants, chickens, a couple of sheep, you know, a couple of cows would be nice. Um, but I can't look it after it all by myself, so once people start coming, uh, the right people start coming, then we can start uh, expanding and, and getting it ready. But I suppose, I don't know. Maybe it's not serious enough for people yet, yeah? Maybe it's just not quite there. Who knows? I just gotta get some oil. So yeah, keep the faith. Don't get caught up in all the other crap that everyone else is spreading. And for God's sake, Stop berating and belittling and, and whatever it is other people are doing, just move on, right? 
I see what you're doing, I respect what you're doing. How can we meld the two together or just go our separate ways? Stop wasting your energy, yeah? I see these people like putting posts up about other people. Stop doing that. Stop it. Stop dividing people. The whole aim of the game is divide and conquer. The whole aim of the game. The whole game. Divide and conquer. Six feet apart. Whatever. The whole game is divide and conquer. Stop it. Yep. Yeah. Remember where you come from. Yep. Yeah. We didn't just appear here. Yeah. This universe is designed perfectly, flawlessly, right? It operates flawlessly like a clock, our, our solar system. Yeah, it operates like clockwork, held together by magnetism and electric, uh, electromagnetic fields. Yeah, it's, it's brilliantly designed and we're part of that. Yeah, all of us together, one organism, this planet, one organism, right? Same amount of water, in our bodies as on the sur earth the surface of the earth yeah the same amount of water on the surface of the earth yeah percentage wise is the same amount of water we got in our body we're not separate from this earth we're all part of it all of us yeah one human family one that's it yeah everyone's entitled to their opinions everyone's entitled to their beliefs but for now can we stop berating each other can we stop dividing each other because I'll I don't see it happening. I can't see it happening, but that's the only way there's going to be remedy to this for those who want remedy. I'm not fussed because I don't need the remedy because I'm not part of it. Yeah? But if you want to make change, you've got to stop dividing. Everything that's divisive, it's got to stop. Yeah? Asking questions is fine. Challenging people's beliefs by asking questions and sharing information, that's fine. But stop personally attacking people, you know. Oh, this crown and that line of authority and this and that. Who gives a shit? Look at what's going on. And all of those crowns and all of those lines of authority have allowed us to get to this point. And you want to go backwards? Wake up, mate. All of you, for Christ's sake. You know, this line of authority is real and that's not, and this. No, mate, it's all, all of it. It's all criminal. It's all based on past criminal activities, all of it. There, there, there is one line of authority, right? It's called the divine creator, or whoever you want to call it, yeah? That is the one true line of authority, yeah? And we're all governed by the planets. We're governed by everything external, as above, so below, yeah? We're, we're governed by natural law. That is the one true law. Because if we don't have nature on our side, we don't exist. We're finished. And we're pissing her off pretty bad. And that's probably why what's going on now is actually going on. Because nature's had enough, yeah? As a collective consciousness, we are allowing this to happen because we realise we're destroying ourselves. We're destroying the planet, yeah? As a collective human organism, we're destroying it. Not everyone's participating in it, but majority are. And that's why majority are going to go. That's why majority are going. That's what we're seeing now. And it's a collective consciousness thing because you're all screaming for it. And all the ones who are screaming for it are going to go. You're going to get your wish. Yeah, Beware what you wish for. Those who wish to give up their rights for safety. Yeah. When, when did safety become... When did safety become the number one priority of human beings? You know? Where did adventure go? Where did, where did the human spirit go? You know, I'm going to go and do this. It's a bit dangerous, but it'll be fun. And I'll grow from that experience. Yeah? Something could happen to me. Whatever. Don't be enslaved by fear. You're a human being. 
You're made of earth and stars. Yeah. Sunlight. Photons. Cosmic energy. Rays. The, the, the sheer perfection of this planet and a human body, yeah, without any external, without any man-made interventions, the, 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 the phenomenon that is the human body that we can't replicate ever. One of the most phenomenal things on the, in the universe. And here we are thinking we're worthless and just pissing it away and destroying ourselves and the planet that feeds us, destroying our mother, you know, just spitting in her face, spitting in the face of our brothers and sisters. Yeah. And this is why the collective consciousness is now where it's at and why what's happening is happening and it's going to continue to happen. Because people will not point blank refuse to come together. Yep. And they refuse to realize their divinity and what they are. And that what they are connects them to the next person and the next person and the next person. Yeah. Think of it as a layer. Think of the earth. It's like layers, right? You've got the core, then you've got the, the outside layers as you get further out. You know, you've got oil and, and, and molten and whatever. You've got all these different layers around this core. We human beings, we're just another layer. We're on the outside core, yeah? We're living on the outside. But we're just another layer. And we're destroying it. We're the layer. We're, we're, the, we're the receiver and the transmitter between up there and down here. Yeah, we receive information from up there or down here. That's all we are. We're transmitters of information to a higher source. Right? Everyone's been put here for a reason. I stopped talking so much, I'm bloody getting dehydrated. Steve says we only get one planet, folks. Best be taking care of it, yeah? That's it. It's really simple, real basic. Yeah? And, and, and where do you start? If you want to take care of the planet, if you want to take care of whatever else, where do you have to start, yeah? You've got to start in with yourself. Yeah, because if you don't take care of yourself, how can you be expected to give a crap about anything else? If you disrespect yourself, you're going to disrespect everything else. If you pollute yourself and you allow yourself to be polluted, you're going to pollute everything else. Yeah? Naturally. Because you're doing it to yourself, you think if I'm doing it to myself, then it can't be that bad if I'm doing it to others, yeah? If I'm doing it to myself, well, it can't be bad, so I'm going to do it to others. And that's why people think they have a right, yeah? Because they do it to themselves, and then they think they've got a right to do it to others. They do not respect themselves and they listen to other people first and foremost above themselves. I'm going to put some pine nuts, little, little pine nuts in the, uh, in the mix here. In the bread mix. And a bit of chilli. A little bit of chili and a little bit of herbs can, can go into the bread. It's always nice. And then we'll put some other stuff. You know. It's so easy 
to get caught up in in the media and to get caught up in other people's stories and to get caught up in you know oh, that woman at the post office she told me this and oh, I'm questioning myself now I'm doubting myself um, you know but then you look at the person and you really examine the person you go well hang on do I want to look like that do I want to end up like that no nah? okay well I'm not going to listen to that person yeah doesn't look like the pinnacle of health that I want to be listening to. So obviously somewhere along the way, the information that she's getting and putting into herself isn't working. So why would I listen to that? Yeah. So we're going to stop questioning ourselves because of what other people say. Yeah, look at the information that you've got. Look at the facts. Look at what is and what isn't. Yeah, look at what's going on. Feel your intuition. Trust your intuition. And go from there and forget about what everyone else Oh, the person at the supermarket said this, or, or, or my, my cousin said that, or my brother said this, or my mum said that, or what, forget about all that. Yeah. Only you. Ask your higher source. Look at the information. Where is it coming from? What does that organism, that organism giving me that information, what does that look like? What is it doing? Is it making money from the information it's given me? Is it taking the substances it's telling me to take? You know? And if it is, how does it look? Does it look like it's working for them? Do I want to be like that? If not, well, you probably don't want to do what they're telling you to do. You know? But anyway. I think it's really important that people really look to their religion, you know, not as a dividing tool, not as like it's been in the past, oh, my religion's this and it's right and yours is wrong because of this. You know what? There's one creator. There's only one. It doesn't matter what you call it. Yeah, it doesn't care. It doesn't care what you call it. There's one creator. It doesn't give a shit what you call it, right? Because it understands the human. It understands people. It doesn't hold grudges about this stuff. Yeah? It's not worth going to war over. Yeah? A difference of opinion. A difference of religion. So get back to your religions. Get back to your gods. Get back to your angels. Your, your, your guides. And just ask for guidance. Yeah? And ask for them to guide others. If you've got that connection. Send, send prayers to other people, you know, positive prayers. Because they do it with negative prayers. A prayer is just spoken words, right? That's all a prayer is. Spells. It's all spelling, right? It all comes back to spelling, spells, prayers, whatever. It can be positive prayers or negative prayers. Just do positive ones, yeah? I get plenty of negative ones, don't worry about that, I can feel them when they come. Well, I used to be able to, I don't anymore. Some olives, I'll just put some sun-dried tomatoes in there, I'll put some olives. Steve, a hemp and hydrogen economy would be a good start. Absolutely, Steve. Hemp and hydrogen, mate. Brilliant. You know? And all the people out there like Steve, all those people have got all this information and knowledge and they're ready to share it and they do share it. But people just don't look at it. Yeah? Because it's not on the news. Oh, well. It is what it is. Mum. There are many ideals and religious idealisms, but only one mother nature. No one argues with nature. Spot on, mum. Put that in quotes, yeah? Many ideals and religious beliefs and whatever, but there's one mother nature. That's just beautifully said. And, um, and you can't argue with nature, yeah? Because you come from her and you're going back to her whether you like it or not. You know? And that's just the way it is. That's how. That's the reality of the situation. 
you can't escape her. Yeah. You can't escape the fact that your mother brought you into existence. You know? That's just how it is. That's the reality of the situation. And you've got your mother who birthed you. And then you've got the mother who birthed her. Yeah? Loverless. So anyway, I'm going to keep it at that, I think. Nice and short. There'll be more videos to come. And um, thanks for watching. Keep the faith, yeah? Keep the faith. Keep the faith. And look after each other and support each other. Come together. Unify as one whole earthly mother nature organism, yeah? One earth organism. All human beings, one earth organism. Yeah? Same amount of water in the body as on the earth's surface. Not separate. Same elements in the body as on the earth's surface. Not separate. One organism. One human. One human unity. Yeah, we're not separate. Divide and conquer is the aim of the game. Stop fighting with each other. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Many blessings. Please share and um, talk to you all soon. Thanks for watching in your time.